Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to The Firm You. Today, I have Sarah Diaz with me, and we're gonna talk about her story and experience here at The Firm You. And it's pretty impressive because you started on what date? 25th, the, February 25th. February 25th, and today is St. Patrick's Day, uh, March 17th, mm -hmm. 2024. So um, you're working out with, uh, with a partner, Yep, my husband. <laughs> and uh, how's that going? It's going good. It, it's it's good to not be alone. Motivation, okay. motivation, being here, and motivation from your partner. That must well. work pretty good uh, around the kitchen too, at home, right? Because <laughs> or does it? <laughs> it does because you just we share meals, we share the same plan, we share the same same routine, goals, same, same goals. goals. Um, well, pretty much the same goals. And uh, folks, the reason why we keep looking over there is that uh, <laughs> Alan, uh, uh, Sarah's husband, is, is uh, witnessing this great video that we're doing. So um, speaking of food, how has that changed for you? We are really focused right now on eating, eating clean, eating good meats, eating vegetables, cooking as clean as we can, eating as clean as we can. We have a cheat day every once in a while, but... And that's For the encouraged. most part, we're, we're eating clean. Yeah, you can be 100%. And, you know, it, it, we approach an anti-inflammatory diet, meaning that, you know, non-processed foods. Mm -hmm. You know, when you go to a restaurant, what do you what do you do on your kind of submitting yourself to... Don't know what you're getting. Yeah. That's right. And uh, a lot of uh, restaurants, you know, they have chefs or cooks. Mm -hmm. You know, their goal is not your goal. Mm -hmm. And that's why, I, you know, I'm not saying don't ever go to a restaurant by any means. But uh, just keep in mind that their goal is not your goal. Their goal is to have you come back, have fit the, the food taste as good as it can. Mm -hmm. And uh, your goal is to have it taste as good as it can, but yeah. also be beneficial to your, your goal. Yeah. Um, so how many days a week, uh, week do you work out? We're working out three days a week here. Okay. And that's uh, what, Tuesdays, uh, Saturday, and Sundays? Yep. And so... Um, I have a scheduled work week, uh, seven days a week on Saturdays and Sundays. I go, I go from six o'clock till noon. And then, uh, during the week it's 5 AM to 8 PM. And, uh, so I can't get you to come that early or, or that late. Right. So anyway, um, so we took some measurements. Um, Sarah was, uh, interested in the strawberry. Now I don't usually try to, uh, to push it. I say it's available. And uh, so the curiosity finally got to you, yeah. and we had some time, and it was kind of a spur of the moment, mm -hmm. but it was very kind of a surprise, pleasant surprise, yeah. and I'm glad we did it. Yeah. Uh, notice, I can noticeably see a difference most of the time in, in my clients, mm -hmm. but after three weeks, I don't mind really looking because you, you don't visually see it mm -hmm. as well as when you have a digital uh, 3D scanner image that shows a before and an after, my Lord, it's incredible. So what we did is about halfway through uh, our couple sessions, okay, we uh, kind of raised your hand, so to speak, and said, can I get on that laser? And we said, well, we got just enough time. So at, eight, at uh, 1028, we did your scan. You got on the laser. We did two locations. Mm -hmm. We did uh, lower midsection and then upper midsection. And here, uh, we did your second stand after the treatment, which only took about 20 minutes, 20 minutes, 25 minutes. And you can see we started at 1028, and we did the second scan at 1057. So right about a half an hour, almost on the dot. And so you can see here on these six locations with the uh, uh, fuchsia, or what do you call that color? Purplish, pink uh, locations here. She had a total of 258 circumferences, numbers. So it could have been, um, you know, 40 times six, and that came up with whatever that number is here. But on the second location, we came up 0.7, uh, no, two, two inches less on her second session. So it had to be the laser that lost those two inches in those six locations. Mm -hmm. Boom, right off the bat. Mm -hmm. How many times do you go to a place where you can see the results right then and there, there's no magic tricks. You can't, you can't do a magic trick. I'm not measuring. I'm having a digital 3D scanner taking a shot of your image. You rotate 360 degrees around. How was that? Uh, I mean, it was it was 
not pleasant to see myself <laughs> well, in yeah, the form of a, a clay figure there and all my imperfections, but it it is motivation nonetheless. Absolutely, yeah. When you have this, when this validates why your clothes are fitting better. Yeah. And this was just one half hour session here. Mm -hmm. So let's move on. Now, this pretty much is consistent with most people. Now on her hip area, which is, or the lower abdominal area, um, it was 0.7, but there was a reduction on that one session that we did. So total, it was almost three inches or 2.7 inches in these locations right here. Um, so that's a, that's a big win. Now, what I did is I also went back for your first scan because when you, when you come on, you have the option, everything's optional here. We did an optional scan the first day that, uh, that you came in or the second day you came in. And on that scan was on February 25th. Yeah. Okay, so let's take a look at that. So from February 25th to uh, yesterday or... The second scan yesterday. The second scan, or actually the, would be the third, because February 25th to March 16th, you went down 6.2 inches. So you're up here, 6.2 on the day you started, not, the, not yesterday, the day you started to here, to the day you got off the strawberry the second time, the strawberry laser the sec the first time, or the second laser treatment, mm -hmm. and you went down 6.2 inches. Mm -hmm. So that is an inch for each circumference in about three weeks, a little over three weeks. Mm -hmm. Folks, can you do that? Okay. Yeah, you can. Yeah. Come see me. Yeah. <laughs> <You can. laughs> It's okay, possible. so let's let's move along. Okay, so what I did here is we took off all the measurements and just looked at the clay figure. And folks, nobody likes to do this. I don't like to do it. Nobody likes to do it. But it's a great it's a great place to look back. You don't a lot of times you don't know where you're going unless you know where you've been or yeah. where you came from. And this motivation right here is is quite, you know, I mean, you can just look at a, a clay figure and say, in three weeks you did that. Wow. Okay. So let's move on to the hip region or lower abdominals. And now you're down another 4.3 right here. So that's another big plus. Okay, so you were, um, we're gonna have to put a name tag on you, I think, there, so pretty soon so we can recognize you. So how is the personal training here? Now, because we've combined the laser, now we, we, we put in the laser, okay? Uh, sometimes I don't introduce the laser till later on because I'd like to see how much you can lose just by the um, anti-inflammatory nutrition, the, um, uh, the the weight training itself, mm -hmm. and sometimes hormones will have, will have a play. And I also do the hormone replacement, but being as young as you are, mm -hmm. that's not gonna be a factor here. Yeah. Um, so how are the workouts? The workouts are good. This is the very first time I've ever lifted weights before. I don't know anything about it. So everything that I've learned here is from here. And How about your to husband? see the progress is uh, pretty wild. He's he's a different story. <laughs> okay. He's a different story because he's stronger than me and we can't really compete, but he's no, no, definitely no, not at all, but for not lifting weights. Yeah. Uh, he's no, gonna, he's really killing it. Yeah. Somehow, some yeah. way. Well, it, well, I think it's a testosterone issue yeah. on that point. But you are killing it too, because you're you're steadily moving up. Your range of motion is getting better. Your flexibility, yeah. you know, and balance and things like that that a lot of people don't take in consideration when they're doing it on their own. Yeah. Because there's a lot more uh, to just going in and and try to lift as much as you can, and hopefully you don't get that sore that you can work out again. True. I mean, we're on the 11th session now, and I'm still trying to get my form correct for squatting. I mean, it's it's a progress that you're going to have to keep working on right and the squats the, probably one of the hardest things to learn really well um but it's also the best beneficial mm -hmm. you know the bigger muscles that you the that you can exercise or break down the bigger uh results you're going to get yeah. and you guys both clearly have have done that yeah. and uh that's great and um uh what else what else can you say about the privacy how about that it is completely ideal because I feel like people people in my position may may be looking on the internet for things or 
ways to work out and instructions and things to do and then you get alone by yourself in a gym waiting for equipment or you finally get there and you don't know if you're doing it right and you don't know if you're getting the results that are necessary for form is right or you know so it's it's great to be in a safe space where you're able to learn and make improvements without any judgment, without worrying about who's looking at you, whose video you're going to be in because they're recording <laughs> themselves in the mirror. Or taking buck cheap yeah. shots and stuff like that. <laughs> and there you are in the background. Or the, the distractions. My problem, you know, I've worked in a, in, uh, as a uh, contractor in the gym, as a personal trainer, and there's so many distractions. And I just want to tap people on the shoulder and say, excuse me, but there's a different way to do that. Yeah. Um, you know, so it, it's a distraction for me also. And naturally you compare yourself to others. So whenever you're a newbie in the gym and you see someone over there really killing it, you're like, damn, you know, it's not really much of a motivator. Right. And here you get that personal touch where it's just all about you. And it's a good, it's a good way to get the endorphins um, stimulated, the serotonin, all the feel good stuff. Mm -hmm. So you walk out of here, you'd, sometimes I got people that drag their butt in here. I do sometimes, yeah. but once I get going, you know, those, those uh, feel good hormones start kicking in mm -hmm. and people wonder why they feel so good when they leave. Right. Well, that's what it is. Right. You know, the, the dopamine, the serotonin, your growth hormone, your testosterone levels get stimulated just by lifting weight. Mm -hmm. Oh. And I'm guilty of that as well, because every day we come in here, he's like, let's go, we're ready to work out. I'm like, I'm not, I don't want to go. <laughs> I don't want to go. But we leave and we're feeling wonderful. Yeah, and that's that's the key is don't look, begin with the end in mind. In yeah. other words, look at yourself, getting in your vehicle and leaving mm -hmm. and eating clean, mm -hmm. feeling good, and, um, and, and you're going to live longer for it. Yeah. And you're going to be more comfortable within your body. Yeah, an investment for your future. There you go. I like that. Well, let's end on that note. Investment for your future. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is Ray Bissett. This is Sarah, my client here, uh, along with her husband, who is in the background here <laughs> looking at us. And he's looking at his watch because he's ready to work out. And I am too. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more like them, go ahead and subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. And uh, we'll see you next video. Rabel Set, signing out.